my channel. My name is Trace and this is one of my first ever YouTube videos, which is super exciting. This is my Vegas vlog. I went to Vegas with my mom not long ago and we just wanted to have a little girls trip. So that is what the vlog is about, but I'll try to make the intro short. Really quick, my goal for this channel is just to have like a girly lifestyle type of channel. So I'll do fashion, makeup, lifestyle. And I also want to cover like feminist topics, relationship advice, living your best life, that kind of stuff. I'll go over more about me in future videos, but for now, enjoy the vlog. Here is our room in the Wynn, Las Vegas. So got a quick breakfast at the Wynn. This is just a little acai bowl and a strawberry smoothie. I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna walk around after I eat this. This is my outfit. It's not very Vegas-y, but I didn't realize that we were gonna go outside and it's a little chilly. So when we actually stay in the hotel, I have like cuter outfits that are more dressed up. But until then, here's what we're rocking with. I think it's not too bad. It's very on brand for me with the pink princess headband type of look. Look at those mountains. This is the Bougie's elevator. Lionel Richie's performing. Gotta get tickets. All right, now we're in the main lobby. This is the casino. Literally so pretty. The garden's connected to the pool. And then we're gonna see this show later on this weekend. It's supposed to be really good. This place is popping off and it's like 11 a.m. Oh my God. They got some koi. Hoping for some food. Look at that, they're gathering. Cute. So this entire display is made out of fresh flowers. That's intense. Look at the freaking merry-go-round. Look at that. Gucci. Pink bag spotted. Another pink bag spotted. I feel like I'm in a freaking theme park. Extravagant. Somehow we ended up in another mall. Uh, I think this one is connected to the Venetian, but really couldn't tell you. I'm so confused. I've never been so directionally challenged in my life. But it's beautiful though. Should we go this way? Should we keep going around? I don't need to see that guy. In case you didn't know, it's the year of the rabbit. And look at this dragon too. I don't play around. So we're in the Venetian now and they have little gondolas. So cute. It's actually really pretty. All right, this is inside the Venetian. Italy on a budget. Bro is getting his music career off the ground. Someone signed this man. This is the thickest bunny I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It was intentional. <laughs> Thanks. Walking through these casinos feels like walking through that one perfume department in SpongeBob. <laughs> we're gonna go back to the win because we're hungry, or I'm hungry, so I want something to eat. Then tonight we have a show and then we have a late dinner at nine. We got like 40 minutes to kill, so we're gonna play some slots as one does in Vegas, especially for the girlies who don't know how to gamble or play card games. Slots are where it's at. All right, my mom gave me $100 to gamble with. So, where should we go? I guess maybe you place your betting here. Bed times three, so would that be $3? Does it say? One cent bet? I think you spin it. What does it mean? What does it mean? I'm just gonna tell you, you got 50 cents. Are you kidding me? I put 20 bucks in here. <laughs> 20 dollars gone. All right. One, two bucks. I only have three dollars left. That's how you lose 20 dollars in five minutes. Take it from the pros. My mom thinks she can do it better than me, so we'll see how she does. Oh, you won five dollars. <laughs> You only put five in and you made five. Fiscally responsible queen. Well, after losing $40 in 10 minutes, we decided to go somewhere else. But really, I just want to eat. They were able to seat us early, so. My mom wants you guys to see the upside down bar. Something about losing a lot of money makes me really hungry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get the steak frites. I'm obsessed with chimichurri. All right, I got the steak frites, and so did my mom. Apparently we are not original. Looks so good. The meat's good though. Are you hungry now? Well, so it's 
pretty good progress. This is for my YouTube. Yep. That was good, but I'm craving a little something sweet. So we're gonna get some ice cream. Time to get some ice cream. Ooh. Probably get the ultra chocolate. Oh, ultra chocolate brownie. Can I have a single scoop of the ultra chocolate brownie, please? Back at the slot machine. This time we found a 25 cent one, so our money won't go go as quick. I don't know, I won. What if you win? Ten. I have no idea. I'm feeling lucky though. Never mind. I got one more. Oh, this place is rigged. Five dollars from the bank of mom. My ID. Just got carded. <laughs> now that I'm not 21 anymore, being carded is like a compliment. It's a badge of honor. When you stop getting carded is when you're like, oh. Yeah, don't you want to card me? Card me, card me, please. This place is like seizure inducing. It's beautiful though. If you like being overstimulated. We got some time to kill. I'm gonna lay down because my back is killing me from that flight yesterday. And all the walking we've been doing, like, this is not a low maintenance vacation. You're losing money and you're losing weight. All right, here is my outfit. I'm wearing this dress from Bardo and these wedges from Vince Camuto. And since the dress is short, I have my trusty bloomers underneath. So if anybody wants to sneak a peek, they're in for a 1800 surprise. And this is the Luke. We're going to a show tonight and then we're going to dinner afterwards. Would show you the city lights, but it looks like you can only see my reflection instead. Let me turn the lights off. Right. The blinds are closing. All right, you want to turn it back on? My makeup turned out good. Well, not that I changed it from this morning, but one time I had a comment that was. Huh? Wisconsin. Oh. All these people are starting to line up for the show. It's called The Awakening, or I guess Awakening. So we just got done seeing The Awakening show and it was amazing. They probably put so much money into the costumes, the design, pyrotechnics were insane, the light technician needs a raise. Definitely recommend. And now we're at the Lakeside restaurant. We got a crab cake for an appetizer, but we didn't realize it was just one. Oh, it wasn't recording. <laughs> I got some, I got a lobster tail with some scallops and some melted butter. My mom got this salmon, which, and we got our potatoes. So I'm at the slot machine, and I find this little Polaroid that someone left here. It's kind of wholesome. I hope these people will find it. <laughs> some some bros in Vegas. <laughs> so we got done eating at the lake house. Honestly, wasn't a huge fan. Maybe I'm just a restaurant snob, but um, it was okay. I'm kind of nauseous now though. I really just want to lay down. But my mom wants to play some more slots. Finally back in the hotel room. It's time to get ready for bed. I am dragging. Gotta wash my hands after touching those disgusting slot machines. It's hard to take all my jewelry off. Look how cute this bracelet is that I got from Swarovski with a little pink bear. ASMR with Lionel Richie in the background. <laughs> all night, all night, all night. What you're still doing, I am, but as long as you don't step in my frame. You're singing in front of the YouTube. <laughs> I added that bunch of stuff. It's a lot of editing you gotta do. People don't want a news anchor, mom. They want to see people for who they really are, mom. Well, you're giving it to them. <laughs> Whether they want it or not. People are not keeping people up. Are you kidding me? Everybody's in the lobby right now. And I think there are worse things to play than Lyle Richie. Whenever I take my makeup off like this, I like turn. So I'm like, am I a pretty girl? <laughs> you said you get Huh? You said you get he has rosacea? Yeah, yeah. What'd you say? Roseola. Roseola. All right, so I washed my face and I'm just gonna put on some pajamas and get ready for bed. See you tomorrow. All right, it is the next morning, but I got some avocado toast, some hot chocolate, chocolate croissant. 
a unit. After I eat, I gotta get ready. It's an avocado. This is my outfit. I didn't bring many jackets or sweaters because I didn't think it would be that cold, but we're gonna make this Abercrombie fit work. I do think my makeup turned out good. I made it to the Bellagio. We're just gonna walk around, probably do some shopping. Let me show y'all. This place is crowded as hell. I think it's just because it's a major tourist attraction. Also, don't judge the pink sweater. I put it on because it's cold and I didn't bring anything else. So I'm wearing it two days in a row. Ooh, look. Lunar New Year. How much is it? It's pretty. Ooh, and it kind of moves. I know, look at this one. Oh my god, these are so nice. I think I like this one the best. My boyfriend is obsessed with fish. So I'll probably get him some fish ornament. Got a little gift from my BF. He asked for a koi fish because I showed him a pond with some koi and he's like, oh, I want a koi fish. So I got him a koi ornament, second best thing. Well, the real reason why we're here is that my mom has a gift card to Tiffany's. So we are trying to find the Tiffany's store and do some damage. See what they got. All these hotels are freaking massive. Trying to find anything is like going on a treasure hunt. All right, so after you get secondhand smoke poisoning, you finally make it out to the luxury stores. Louis Vuitton. I don't like their new collection with the random dots. And finally, our destination of choice, Tiffany's. I love all the Return to Tiffany's stuff. Do you have the Return to Tiffany's ring by chance? Rose gold ring? Seven and a half? That is the seven. Ooh, that fits perfect. What do you think of this one? It's pretty. Yeah, I'd like to try on the big one. Yeah, of course. That is a statement piece so for sure. This one is very easy to put on. Like you put it over your head and then you fasten it in the front. Ooh. Okay. It's definitely a statement. It's pretty. It's like dog collarish. I'm gonna take my sweater off. But I think I actually like this one. That's you. This is still bigger. I love it. I yeah. think that one was. Maybe you you wouldn't reach much. for that. I like Only that for like one. New Year's or something. So this is the bigger size. And this is the smaller one, but I think the smaller one works better. I think the big one kind of overwhelms me. Okay, you use these cards before you guys go out of business. You never know. <laughs> hey, it could happen. It could happen, yes. All right, so we picked out some pieces for not only me, but my sister-in-law and our wonderful sales associate, Renee, is getting us some mimosas, which is way better service than we get in Tampa, the Tampa Tiffany's. Where's this location? This is the Tiffany's in Bellagio. So if you're ever in Vegas, definitely recommend coming here. Shameless plug, he's been so nice and helpful. And yeah, I'm excited to show y'all what I got, but that's for later. Cheers. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna head over to the Aria. There's a tram that leads from the Bellagio to the Aria, back through the casino. Hold your breath. <laughs> Got some chocolate covered strawberries. Ooh, so good. That's what my mom got. What is it? Mint? Chocolate chip mint. Head into the Aria. It's insane. I feel like every time I turn on the camera, we're walking through another casino. We're in the Aria right now, we want to go to the food court. So, the lady gave us directions through the casino, under the bridge, past the troll, three tokens, and we find the food court. Finally found the food court. Now, I don't know what we should eat. We've got some ramen. Back at the hotel now, I put in $20 in one of the slots and I got 40 back. So, decided to cash out. All right, so I wanna do a Tiffany's unboxing. I am so excited. So I got three things and they're all kind of matching. Did you fart? No, not yet. <laughs> First thing I got is this heart ring and it's part of the return to Tiffany's collection 
Yeah. All right, next box. To match the heart ring, I got this necklace. All right, so this is the necklace. It's definitely more dressy. Like I probably wouldn't wear it with this sweater, but with anything low cut, I think it'd be super pretty. And it just looks like really classy and I feel like it screams like old money type of aesthetic. And finally, we got the third thing, which is the matching bracelet. And this is the bracelet. So freaking pretty with the ring, the matching necklace, which you can't see. I just feel like as a set, it looks so nice. Normally I'm a rose gold type of gal, but I've been mixing metals lately with silver and rose gold, and I feel like it looks really nice and classy. So this is it, what do we think? And also I feel like if you were to ever punch someone with this, it'd probably hurt. <laughs> Little self-defense tip, now I'm gonna take a nap. It's been a long, hard day being me. <laughs> We got some room service. Feeling too lazy to actually go out. And apparently the reservations are all booked up tonight. I am grateful. Okay, this is the outfit of the day. Just wearing this Reformation dress with these it's Cluedo wedges. I actually don't know if I should wear this headband or let me show you the other option. Or this headband from a brand called Elena Honk, Honch. Um, they sent it to me, it's super pretty. I actually think this one may match the silver jewelry more. Or should I wear a headband in the hall? Hmm. Right now we're at the buffet. There's 13 stations that all informs me. And we brought our appetites, so. crepe station so I got this berry crepe with chocolate sauce chocolate chips looks so good all right got done eating it was super good I didn't really vlog me eating this time because I forgot now we have t-minus 11 hours till our flight so it's a lot of time to kill probably walk around the casino I'm gonna take my makeup off and everything before we even get on that plane because I refuse to mess up my skin on these long flights the airport now we're in one of the lounges but basically we have like a five hour layover <laughs> not layover but we have a five, five hour wait until our flight so that's fun and basically our flight is going to take off around 10 o'clock and we're going to get in florida because we have a connecting flight going to get back in florida around 8 a.m eastern standard time which is like a crazy long haul but i did do some shopping at the airport but i'm going to show you guys what i got when i get back I'll catch up with y'all later. Okay, so I'm back in Florida now, and as promised, I want to show you guys the coach bag that I got. I'm filming this at the same time that I'm filming the intro, so don't mind that. Okay, so I first saw this bag on Coach's Instagram, but by the time I got around to checking out the website, it was sold out, which is not very cash money of them. So I actually went into a couple coach stores in Vegas searching for this bag, but they didn't have the color, so I was like, ah, maybe it's not meant to be. But at the airport, I saw it on the shelf and I was like, oh my God, that's that's the bag I want. And the sales associate told me that I was literally the last one. So I was like, oh, you drive a hard bargain, but okay, I'll get it. Here is the bag in all its glory. It kind of got smushed on the plane, but that's okay. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> I don't like the long buildup, so we'll just get right into it. Oh my gosh, this is her. She is everything. It's a very Y2K type of bag, which normally isn't my style, but I just, something about this girl. I'm sorry, but if I walk into a store with this bag, like, I just feel like I have every right to have a little attitude. Like, this is so cute. For reference, this is my phone. It's the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and it fits just fine in there. still have a ton of space. And I normally am not a big, big purse person. Wait. I'm normally not, <laughs> I normally don't carry around big purses. So this is a good size for me, like my phone, my wallet, and we're good to go. I'm sorry, you can't tell me she's not cute. And I love the fact that it's a little shoulder bag, like, ooh, that's right. Ooh, 
Uh, I know I'm talking really fast right now and have a lot of energy, but that is because I am drinking a little energy drink. One thing about me is I'm gonna have a little bevy. Okay, I'm definitely talking too much. But anyways, that's the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be churning out a ton of new content this year because YouTube is gonna be my main platform. I did it for TikTok last year. And now we're gonna shift over to the YouTube as my mom calls it. Okay, bye. Oh,